Let's have a lot of clothes. So, what do you want? Listen. Atman. I told you to leave this town. Leave this town and go back to where you came from. Because it is so obvious you are here to cause trouble. What did you do? You refused to listen to that very simple instruction. Then you developed the audacity to go for my woman. Are you out of your mind? Your woman. Uh, everywhere. A man who puts his hands in the mouth of a snake knows that that snake will bite. And uh, you're asking for trouble. Who is the snake? You? You are the snake? It is very clear to me, everywhere that no one took some sense into your head. Everywhere, enough is enough. Bro. Enough is enough. I have built a very strong network against you in this town. You are terrorizing people and people are tired of you. Try me one more time, everywhere, and I assure you that I will run you out of your own town. You are very stupid to say that. Now, who the hell do you think you are? Okay, you now feel you have some friends that you have made in my town. For you to believe you can run me out of my town, I can say that to my face. How dare you? Ah, uh, you think I cannot do it? Try. No, everybody will try me and see. Huh? Eh? I see that it has not dawned on you yet that the people are tired of you. Everybody, you have now become a nuisance what? in this town. Try me, for when I finally rise against you, even men from your family will be the ones to show me where you're hiding. You are a fool. A fool. You are a fool to say that. Now listen, let me put it to you straight. You see that woman? That's a very... She is my woman. She's actually the one that have already decided to make my queen. When I become the king of this land, stay away from that woman before you will see the beast of me. You call yourself a beast. <laughs> Everywhere, when a drunken fowl has not met the madness of a fox, begins to feel like a god, <laughs> gloating around until it realizes that its drunkenness is a joke compared to the madness of a fox. You have beaten more than you can chew in this town, everywhere, and we are not going to run away from you. My town, neither are we going to leave this town for you. It is not possible. Everywhere, you call yourself a beast. Let that beast manifest and I assure you that I'm going to kill you and share your meat to the people. You're asking for trouble. You're making noise in my place of business. Get out of this place and go back to your wife. Who, by the way, is the reason we are still taking your nonsense and tolerating you because she's such a glorious woman. Who keeps going around to clear your mess? But for how long? Hey. For how long, Everywhere? As you can see, I'm huh? What did he do to you? Nothing. Stop now. I'm, I'm fine. I mean, look, look at me. I'm okay. Huh? Relax. I'm okay. He's just a noisemaker. What can he possibly do to me? Igbigo is very dangerous. He's a dangerous man. Igbigo carries a gun in his car. And the police are not doing anything about it. They can't even do anything about it. You have to be careful. Please. I'm careful. There's nothing he can do. However, he says something. Man. He went, oh, sweetheart, I'm okay. I'm okay, I'm okay. That's not what my problem is right now. When he came here, he said something that worries me. He said that he's planning to become king. And that when he becomes king, you're going to be his, his, his queen. That so, nonsense he says all the time. Leave him as a fool. <laughs> Who will be his queen? How? I know it sounds stupid, but I, I just need... To, he said it with so much confidence. Man, you, you believe I'm going to be his queen? No, I did not, I did not believe him. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry now, I'm sorry. My own is just be careful. I'm fine. Huh? Listen, that man is just a riffraff. 
and people here are getting tired of him. And very soon he'll be dealt with. I'm fine now, I'm fine. I'm fine, I'm fine. It's fine, I'm here. It's fine, I'm fine. You're here now. How are you? I'm fine, how's work? Now listen to me, Chukujeku. You need to understand that this is not just my war. It's not just my war, it's our war. Oh, now because you live in Lagos and you feel like you've arrived, Abi? Uh-huh. Tower leave that thing. I am not afraid of a wig where he's a towels. He's a criminal, a buffoon, he's a charlatan. Do you know that he has refused to conduct election? That idiot refused to conduct election. And the only man that is now helping the youths of our land, teaching them his line of work, is the one he wants to run off town. It will never happen. I have this feeling, I have this belief that we will must be stopped and we will stop him. Uh-huh. Yes, now, Aban, one, one man from Ikota, Ikota Abasi, the electrician. See, listen, listen, listen. Listen, you could, listen when I talk to you, Mr. Man. My point is this. Aban needs our protection, especially from those of you, those of you out there. We must protect him. He is doing what you people could not do, and that is why this is our war. We will stand up to every way, face to face. And I need your support. That's why I'm calling you. Uh huh. Hey, baby. So this is what all this is about. You want to marry another woman into this house? After everything you have been through? Hey, baby. Oh. So this is why you've been insisting I return back to Obo. Hey, baby, you are very heartless. And someone must show you this level of wickedness. Elizabeth, why are you making a case out of nothing? I don't understand. Do you lack anything? You don't. You have a supermarket in Empo that I established for you. A thriving supermarket. Even now that you are here in a in Abomimi, looking for my trouble, that supermarket is still functioning because of the structure I set around it. Do you lack like anything? Why are you vibrating? What, what is this now? Everywhere. I am looking for your trouble. What have I done to you? Where have I gone wrong that you are dreaming of another woman? Uh, uh, listen, listen, you have not done anything wrong. And I'm not planning to divorce you. You are still my wife. And you will remain my wife. I'm not tired of you. You will remain my wife. I am not, unless you are tired of me yourself. Listen, Elizabeth, I decided to marry a second wife because it is my right. As when you born in Olivia. What? Seriously? It is your right to insult me? Your wife? You don't have insult, yeah? You don't have insult. It's okay. You want another wife? No problem. How do I help? You are still my wife. Why can't people mind their business? Why can't people mind their business? Who is this fool that will just go and reveal this secret to my wife now? Eh? We don't want any poison. And where is my beautiful Elizabeth going with a bag? Elizabeth, I asked a question. Where are you going with a bag? And what will I be doing here? I am finally going back to Mbok to mind my business so you can have all the time to live your life the way you want to. Please, Elizabeth, you really need to calm down. There is no way I will allow you to live with this bottled animosity. It is going to be very unfair for you to go back to Mpo and feed my children with lies. I have not sent you out. I still love you. Listen, 
I decided to marry a second wife because I need to be married to a woman from this, our kingdom. For me to stand the chance to become the king of this land someday. I cannot be a king when I am married to a woman from outside. That is it. Why can't you understand it? But you are not yet a king. But I am going to be. Everything is already settled. That this man here is going to be the next king of this kingdom. And you will still remain the first wife of the king. You see, Ebere, Ebere is going to be a ceremonial queen. She is just somebody I want to marry for me to stand a chance to assess the throne. Once I become the king, she is going to be dusted. You are the man, okay, just look at it. Ebere is standing and Elizabeth is standing. Even the blind man will see that Elizabeth is demented. Look at you. Come on. Come on. Why will you be thinking of doing this? Beautiful world. Come on, stop this. I don't have time for this, please. Hey, but I have time for you. Don't allow anything to deceive you. Take this bag inside. I'm going to finish you this night. I'm going to finish you this night. Please stop. I am not going to stop anything. Why would you even pack your bag here? Yeah, Come and stop. Take your bag inside. Take your bag inside. Listen, guys, there is um, an assignment I need you to carry out. You see that guy, Aban, who came from a Kotapas to establish in this our land. He has been making a lot of money from us. And that idiot has refused to pay what he is supposed to pay to us. He has gone ahead to place signposts with his phone number at all the strategic junctions in Enua Bomimi, directing people to him for their electrical works. And from what I gather, he is so good in what he does. You see all those signposts? I want all of them removed immediately. So what are you suggesting? Snowman, they suggest say me will go in house for night. Put in house for a blaze. Make sure say him born inside. No. That will not fly. Why now? The guy said why now? Now me they come up for this side. I go do am. I go run am. I know in house. Shut, 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 shut up your mouth. Because I bring you here, me will try upgrade your organity. Big daddy, we are talking about a womanizer. Somebody will not if he sleep without woman. Look. I can bet you the day you want to set him a place, he will born with a daughter of a bomb with me. Or even daughters. Uh -huh. Which one won't be that now? Listen, if there is any daughter of this land who has decided to open herself for that idiot's enjoyment in our land here, then that daughter should be set a place for real. So don't even agree with me on this. I'm telling you. Big Daddy, I will go. Uh -huh. I will up. Big Daddy. But, well, that is not what I want. Uh -huh. I don't want anybody to die, even when those idiots deserve to die for opening themselves to an idiot from Mokotavis. I just want him to leave this land. The same way he came, I want us to set, set a machinery in motion that will force him to run away from this town. You see, all those people who are praising him, telling him that he's so good, making him to... I want all of them to be ashamed by the day he will leave. That's what I want us to do. Create the scenario and let it start working. Big Daddy, just leave this one out for me. I will package this one. You know the rainy season, the current season, the cold. I say you take come off for this time. Just leave that one for me. Alpha, move ahead. Anything you call me. So come here, Big Daddy. Your Majesty, to be honest with you, I heard the rumor. But it's still a rumor. A mere rumor. <laughs> There is no way a big way will be making plans to become king when you are still alive. It's not possible. It's your gossip. Are you trying to say that my informant is a liar? Or are you saying that I don't know what I am saying? Your Majesty, I never said anything like that. What I'm saying is that I will urge you to overlook this. Let us give a big better benefit of the doubt. That young man might be innocent. 
But he has already spoken to some people about his ambition. And that is why he is already looking for a second wife in this land. Because he feels that the men in cancer will not allow him to become king if he does not have a wife from Inua Bomi. Your Majesty, these might just be statements made over bottles of beer. Yes, we all know Ebigwe. And we know the kind of things that motivate him. And let us give him that benefit of the doubt. Eh? Your Majesty, put that one aside, please. It's not, uh, it's not, uh, no. You are lucky I told him that you cannot say something like that. Better be careful from now on. Be very, very careful. I don't understand what is going on. Does he think that he's going to be king forever? Listen, that may happen somewhere else. It cannot happen in this land where I live. A man should be able to be king for some time and then he should step out for some other person to continue. And that's what is going to happen here. I am not afraid of that king. Go ahead and tell him what I said. I'm not afraid of him. Let him do his worst. Baby, hey, better be careful with the king. Don't forget he has the staff of the kings with him. And with that, he can banish you from this land and you must leave. Otherwise, the gods will kill you for disobeying this time. Hey, well, let me bust the bubble. Is she a god here? I do not believe in the gods. And I have no regards for your so-called ancestors. <laughs> You see this man sitting here with you? This man sitting here is a man unto himself. That man should do what I have just said. If that king should insult himself by doing what he just said, banish himself and not me, I swear, I am going to wipe out his entire family from the face of the earth. Don't worry, God. I still maintain what I say. But I'll be very, very careful what you say when it's someone's you. Please. You know, you know, most times when you speak like this, I begin to wonder, why must I pay you the kind of money I pay you every month when it is so clear you're not doing anything for me? Eh? Me? What do you mean, Alolomo? Let me tell you, what you pay me is nothing, absolutely nothing compared to the type of job I do for you. What nonsense job do you do for me? If you doubt me, I will withdraw my services and I assure you, you end up in jail. Eh, eh. You know, there's huh? only, you see, Agosia, there is only one reason I am still allowing you to be a living man in the land of the living. Don't provoke me. Because if you provoke me, I will not just turn you off. I'm a poor me. Come on, come on, balloon. I'm a poor balloon. Even need me, I will share. Be very careful. Be very careful. Ah, Agosia, I'm going to get you, Agosia, come on, I'm going it, but by the time you fail to tell the king what I just said, Mojo Kungwagi, Carla. I paid three million naira into your account this morning. Yes, my king, uh, which is why I'm here. I noticed that you transferred three million naira to me. But I also remember that the balance uh, for the work that I did for you is 900,000. Yes. So I'm wondering what the other 2.1 million is for. Well, it is for the same uh, wind electricity that you claim yeah. that you you can mount. I remember. To automatically bring security light in the, in the main facility once yes. there is no Nepal light. You said it is for 2 million Naira, but I gave you extra 100,000 Naira to make you happy. <sighs> <laughs> Thank you so much, my king. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you for... And thank you so much for the confidence that you have in me and my work. I it's promise okay. not to disappoint you. It's okay. You're welcome. I have to go. Uh, it's okay. More work to be done. It's okay. The great Yuruko of my land, Oye I greet you, sir. I heard you want to be the king of this land. I don't understand. Rumors are everywhere that you're making everything possible to become the king of this land. You might just I don't understand what you are saying. That I, I want to be king. How is that possible? When there is a king already in my land, 
The thought alone is, is like an abomination. Really? Yes. So you mean you are denying your plans of becoming a king in this land while I am still here? Is that what you're saying now? Your Majesty, I don't know where I have gone wrong. I don't know what I did to people. Why would they level this kind of allegation against me that I want to be king? The truth is that I never dreamt to be king. I don't want to be king, Your Majesty. Because I understand what being king, what it entails. A lot of restrictions. You don't eat this, you don't eat that, you don't go there, you don't, you know those, I don't want to live that kind of life. I want to be a free man who does whatever thing he likes. That's just the truth. So I, I don't understand. to descend on that man with federal might. I've told him several but he thinks I'm joking. I'm going to run him out of this town. What if he has connection in Abuja, like he hmm. does here? Ebuigwe is a local champion. His criminal politics does not exceed this town. He does not have the balls to take it out of this town. He's a coward. Okay. I'll just let you deal with him then. You know, once in a while, criminal elements like a wee wee will arise in different towns and naturally people would just sit back and do nothing. And then they tend to succeed because they are ignored. But ultimately, they get crushed. And when that happens, it leaves a sour taste. And that will be the case here. For a wee time is up. His time is up. You have been restless since you came back from the King's Palace. I hope all is well. That man is a fool. You won't believe that he threatened me. Mm -hmm. The thunder of Enua bombed me. That man had the cost to threaten me in this kingdom. But I'm going to teach him a lesson. Don't worry. I know exactly what I'm going to do. Truth be told, you cannot blame the poor king. How do you mean? He must have heard what you're planning. Naturally, he feel threatened. If you're in his position, you will do the same. He's a fool. He's a fool to be feeling threatened. How can a human being become king and they rule and they die on the throne? It's not possible. It may happen every other place. It cannot happen here in Enua Bomebe. You will rule for some time. And then you will get out for some other person to continue. You see, the truth that is already established, eh? you see that man? Whatever thing he is planning is nonsense. I'm going to dethrone him. And I'm going to become the next king of this country. His threat is nothing. So you just calm down. I'm not even thinking about it. I'm just not restless because of him. There's a business that I am trying to, to, to code that is not linking. And, um, that is actually what is giving me the, the restless moment, not the king. King is a giraffe. It's a giraffe. Yes, if you are calculating any business, remember that. Your Majesty, you promised me. I'm still on it. You should not have arrested him. I did that because I am fed up with your excuses. That young man has become a thorn in our flesh. He has become a nuisance in this kingdom. And so I have decided 
to handle him my own way. Yes. Your Majesty, I, I, I don't understand what you mean by my excuses. You think I do not know that you are on his payroll? You really think so? You are a disgrace to this kingdom. And for your information, this will be the very last time that you will ever come close to me. And I mean every word that I have said. Oh, yes. What? what, what I mean, huh? The election into the youth council. That you connived with that young man to remain in office, to sabotage me, will hold on Saturday. Yes. A new youth executive will emerge on Saturday. And you know what? I trusted you. You blew it. And never again would you ever come close to me because you have overstayed your welcome. What is it? You can leave. Your Majesty. Allah Kupulu Tele. This is the best news I have ever heard. Obviously. You know, we're just tired. We're tired. We're tired of Igwe. Apparently, Igwe was planning the same thing I was planning for him. I'm happy that the authorities have decided to, you know, stand up to this man. Can't keep covering up for one man. Really, enough is enough. So that so-called almighty Igwe is finally in change. Oh yes, and he'll be charged to court and remanded in prison for his nonsense. Really. Akban. Please, I need you to do me a favor. Speak, baby. What is it? What do you want? I want to go in there mm -hmm. and prepare a very nice delicacy for us to celebrate with. Please promise me you'll wait. Uh, as a matter of fact, the truth is, eh, I, I have nothing slated for today. So now, <laughs> now we're here. So, I'm waiting. Help me. <laughs> <laughs> Just make it spicy, eh? Like pepper. Hey. Your question, why you call us here now? As soon as I see me so, uh, my intestine, they get a dick. And then time my intestine, they get a dick like this, and then they like dick that has own put. As soon as I know say big daddy gone, Vatican leave. Police just excuse and come up for this community. So I don't need any of them to know say I'm in charge. We don't need the election put, you don't understand? So as the matter don't deal like this, eh, now fuck up. Yes, now fuck up if we not deactivate on behalf of Big Daddy. We need to show these people saying that we they run this town before Big Daddy go come. You don't know, understand? See, Drew, as matter, tell you something. All these things where they happen already, they're not my problem. You no know, consign me at all. The only problem what I get now, now how to make sure say, I don't follow Big Daddy and tap prison. So I see, make I tell you now, make you no know, be say you now, come begin find me, I come be say I don't mail you. See me can take permission because as they be, I don't fall out. Guy, I don't call. Go Guys, I still value my freedom. As it be now, eh? I know they do again. I'm out of here and I will never return. See, uh, not let those things, not let her, not let her shake you, yeah? As you see those two people, so they be like, oh, where? They're not normal. You know, see that guy will stand near me. Be like, oh, they go out in the every month end. See, deal with me. For this thing, where you deal like this now, so, eh? when big daddy show, you go benefit him. I mean, it's not easy, see? It's not easy for you to stand. Oh, boy, oh, boy, see? If you like, they are the phone with that here. Oh, mommy, I'm not going to follow you there, yo. I move. Even you when I say you get future, I don't know say cobweb still 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 tangle your future. You move. Where yeah, you know where you they move, they go. Sean they're not they feed the see all this. Which kind they know they get rugged boys for this serious self. I can't believe this. How can you get pregnant without food? I am very disappointed in myself. I told you this because I feel I can trust you. Please do not rub it in. I'm not rubbing it in. I'm just surprised. I'm just surprised. 
But you need to confront him, seriously. You need to confront him. I heard he was arrested. Yes. But as we speak now, he is in this village. I saw him on my way here. He has regained his freedom as usual. You should not be surprised. How is that possible? I heard he was arrested by the federal police. It seems you don't know the amount of money that man makes by selling our lands. Yes, he was arrested, but as usual, he has regained his freedom. He is right here in Enua Bomemi with us. So, better run and go and confront him all. Ah. Are you not supposed to sit indoors for days to watch what is happening? Why are you leaving almost immediately? I don't understand. Stay indoors for days, I monitor what is happening now. Elizabeth, I'm not wired that way at all. You see that useless boy from Yokotabas? I'm going to prove to him that he's a stranger in this land. They took me unawares by arresting me. No problem, but I'm going to prove to them that in this jungle, I am the Lord. Please. You know, the Igwe is aware of what happened. Eh? Are you going to challenge the Igwe also? Eh? Please go inside the house and stop compounding your problems. They are the ones that compounded their problems. In fact, they compounded the problems of Enua Bomewe when they decided to arrest a man of my caliber. Do you know what they did? They forced me to spend some days under police custody. But I am going to make them pay. Don't even try that. Remember you signed undertaking. Unless you want to spend the rest of your life in prison. You know, eh, Elizabeth, the more you speak at times, eh, the more it does on me. You don't even know the man you married. Listen, I am a law unto myself here in Inua Bomemi. Don't forget what happened. Just go inside the house. Turn, on, turn the radio. Put the radio on. You will hear what is going to happen. Okay, man, dear. Let me back, let me Great Omele, sir. I need you to get down to business. Mm. The men we are talking about are the enemies of my business. And anybody who has become an enemy to my business is enemy to my soul. Mm. And the person deserves no mercy. But I do a good He said you want the man to run away from Inua Bomemi without looking back. Exactly. I want him to leave Inua Bomemi without anything. Not only that, I want him to completely forget everything about our land so that when he leaves, he will never come back again. Is that all? Mm -mm. The second one is that I want the king to become insane. I want him to start talking off the point. When a king is talking off the point, the people will notice that he has gone insane. And no people wants an insane man to remain their king. When that happens, I am going to declare myself king. And all the men who are already in my payroll, will not raise any objection. However, I can't show. I am that Omelese who has control over the seven spirits of the seven seas. I have never failed. Omelese, I know you. <laughs> and that is why I brought you all the way. And I ask you to come prepared and I can see you did. I am ready for everything, and I know what you can do, and I'm asking you to do it.
Mm. All you seek are possible, but it will cost you more money. Much money in hard currency. I expect you to be saying how much already. How much? Your husband brought this upon himself. And I have decided that he will no longer play any part in the administrative structure of this land. Your Majesty, I know of all you did already. My husband is not as evil as he paints himself. He's just trying to be relevant. And in the process, he has continued to create enemies for himself. That is not my problem. Let him go ahead and create all the enemies. And finally, I know that it is the same enemies that he has created for himself that will cripple him. Your Majesty, I came to beg you to please spare his life. I know the fate of someone that wants to dethrone the king. Yes, the spirit of the dead will be invoked against him. He will not survive. How did you know about that? Uh, well, I, I asked questions and I got scared. Your Majesty, we have three sons and two daughters in the world. Please, those are children of this land. Your subjects. Please, Your Majesty, forgive them. Forgive Ebigwe because of them. They will be rendered fatherless if you unleash the power of the king upon Ebigwe. I beg you, Onyeze, please forgive him. You are indeed a very wise woman and you have spoken well. Thank you, Majesty. I am going to forgive him because of those children. But I want you to take seriously the next thing I'm about to say. If he continues that madness of wanting to dethrone the king by wanting to be king, he will be the one to invite his own death. He don't even know what is happening. <laughs> Amaka, that idiot Amaka, came to my office to tell me that she is pregnant. Pregnant for me, of course. You don't understand. <laughs> you, don't, you don't trust. Listen, I told her point blank that I am excited with the news. And I asked her to keep the pregnancy. And I warned her that if anything should happen to that pregnancy, that she is going to disappear from the planet called Earth. Are you mad? No, why will you punch to my office like a fool? What's the problem? What is it? I'm very angry. I am boiling. And I need an explanation. To what? Why are you not behaving yourself before me? Are you high or something or what? What's the problem? Look, you cannot shut me down this time around. You know exactly what I'm saying. No, I don't know. Really? So he went and sold that land. That land was the only remaining piece of land in our clan. After all we discussed, he went ahead and sold that land. Because he just sit down. I sold the land, I sold what? Is that not what we do? To sell lands? Listen, I will give you another land. You see that land? That was the only land that fits into the land the people that came to buy land described. And I decided to sell it. All of us are in this business of land racketeering, and you know it. So I will find the land that I'm going to give you that will actually make nonsense of the one I sold. So calm down, my friend. A big way. A big way. You know, no saying I respect they make me they call you big daddy. The blessing you won't lose the respect. See, let me tell you something. Mark it somewhere. You will never have it your way this time around. My name is You need to ask very well.
You are a fool. Where's your choice in the war with a jot? I don't blame you. I know many women in your shoes will do the same. But I'm going to confirm to you right here and now, I don't have anything to do with your husband. And if your husband has decided to take another wife, I'm sure it will be with someone he's already sleeping with. Who? Who is it? Please, don't misunderstand me. I'm not here to make trouble, honestly. I came to you as my fellow woman to help me talk some senses into him. I understand he worships the ground in match on. He is losing it. And if he doesn't stop, they will kill my husband for me. Please. I don't want to lose my husband. Please. I'm sorry, dear. I am focusing on my relationship at the moment. And I don't want to be distracted. I don't want to have anything to do with your husband. thinking about that useless man. Who do you call the useless man? Isn't it a big way that is standing you here? Come on, Six, you are bigger than this. He big way is married, and we all know how much his wife loves him. And why would you even conclude he's the one I'm thinking of? Eh? I saw the used pregnancy kit that you discarded. Sees you are not pregnant. Why trying to cage him with pregnancy if you don't love him? I wanted to get him to pay me off, but that useless son of a devil actually thanked me and ordered me to keep the pregnancy. <laughs> How can you even keep a pregnancy when you are not pregnant? Madako. Hello. Welcome. Hold on. Maka, hold on. How are you? I'm fine. Let's go inside. Hey, wait a minute. You're going to hurry. Come down. I'm not here for those friendly, for that friendly visit. I heard you came looking for me. What happened? Because my beautiful wife gave me the information. How do you mean? How do I mean? Amaka, how do I mean? The beautiful damsel, the curvy woman you saw when you came to my house looking for me is my beautiful wife. Sweetheart. How is that possible? You, you, you got married and you never even explained to me that... Explain what? Amaka, what do you want me to explain? I looked for you. I wanted you. But you all rejected me. You told me and you said that I'm an umbrella. And I left. You don't expect me to tell you or inform anybody close to you that I want to get married. It's not done. Uh, mm. uh, does it mean it's a lie? Amaka. Amaka, you are very funny. I'm not here to explain to you if I'm an umbrella or a civil servant, or what of you. 
I'm just here to tell you to stay away and stay clear from my wife, my family, and anything that has to do with me. I just came here to tell you not to look for me again. I said you want to see my beautiful wife. Come on, have a nice time. I don't love you. There is a problem. Is it money? Tell me how much you need and I'm going to provide it. This is a task and I want this task executed immediately. The man you are planning to send away cannot be sent out of this land. How is that possible? He is an intruder from Ekotabas, wherever that is. He has no inheritance amongst my people. Listen, Omelese, I just sold a parcel of land and the money is intact. Let me know how much you need extra and it is going to be provided. There is nothing you can do about this. It is not about the money. The Ikot Abbasi man is now a landowner in this land. He has performed the ritual that made the land his land, so you cannot send him away. Mm -mm. When it comes to land in Enabomeme, I am the authority that decides. I know every land in this town, and I can pinpoint the person who owns each of them. He has no land here. What are you saying? The guy is smarter than you. Is that supposed to be an insult? You are just fighting him with his money. The same money he got the king to bless for him is now a man of this land, and you cannot send him away. Melissa, you are saying too many things all at once. What do you mean by that? The last land you sold to raise the money to pay me was bought by him. Are you serious? You mean that Atman, ordinary electrician from Ekotabas, has seven million naira to pay for that parcel of land? He is a millionaire, making legitimate money. The gods have blessed him with a daughter of this land, and their marriage will bring glory to this town. Who is this daughter you're talking about? Is it the same empire that I have already named my wife? Amaka. What are you doing here? Amaka, you're the original number one. So, um, but then um, you're facing this level of confusion because you don't want to play your cards right. How do you mean? Okay. Mm, does it make any sense? You dying for the ones who are already married? Come on. They are young, cute guys like us. Amaka, just take a look. You're missing out. Are you out of your mind? What? Do you want me to slap you before you learn to, 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 to define your boundary and, and restrict yourself to it? I'm not all these kind of things where they talk, all the many, many things where they talk, and they put you for the mess where you did. Relax. See, what I'm trying to tell you is this. We, the boys, we know everywhere around the wood. Amaka, I can help you. Forget the boss. I can help you. Yes, can you just say what you have to say and stop beating about the bush? Okay, okay, okay. Let me break it. You and I know you're not pregnant. What? You heard me. Okay, you see, all these things, you just created them just to get to the boss. But as it has not worked, why don't you just look to the other side, Amaka? Look at us. Amaka, I can help you ravage this situation. Listen, get Relax. You, I, I just. You, you, you don't have to do. Amaka. 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 a joke in this town. Where do I hide my face? Where do I hide my face? Oh, hey, where do I hide my face? 
Amaka, Amaka, you have no face to hide. Ah, Amaka, you have no face to hide. Come. people that will listen to anything you say. I think it will be a problem to you. And you think I'm scared of him? Come on, give me a break, Elizabeth. I am still that deadly thunder that will strike anybody who challenges him. Can't you understand that? This may be the reason I was pushed to come back here. Please listen to me. If anything happens to you now, I will be the one to suffer. Will you shut up? Shut up and stop making me believe that I married the wrong woman. How can you be saying nothing like this? You are scared or what? Now listen to me. That boy is a riffraff. And I'm going to ground him to a halt. Just take it from me. And alas. I don't really think so. Is this actually what you have become? No, Elizabeth. You are challenging me now? No. I am not challenging you, my dear husband. How can I challenge you? So what are you doing? I am just scared. Eh? Please, just listen to me. For him to break that lock shows that he's more than what you think. He's nothing. I just wanted to understand that he is only a fool. A fool who came into my land is exploring the advantages we have and then he's digging his grave in the process. I am going to bury him in that grave in this kingdom. Just relax about this thing. Don't allow yourself to be disturbed over a man. A man is a fool and I am going to make him a man to nothing. There are several things I have of, of I have up here in my head. It's not everything I want to be discussing with my wife. Just forget about that man. He's digging his grave. I will bury him in the grave. Either you or none other, baby. It just has to be you. I love you. Please, tell me you'll marry me. You're the best thing that has ever happened to me. Yes, yes, I'll marry you. <laughs> you must be a fool. To believe you can come into this land and pull this stunt. You see this lady here? She is my sister from my land. And she is the one I have already named my wife. So there is no, no amount of witchcraft you have brought from Ekotabas that will make her yours. I am giving you a count of five to detach that useless thing 
you have in her finger or I will kill you and bury you right in this land. Five, four, three, two. He who destroys the bridge must first learn to swim. And he who calls for rain should not fear thunder. You have just been hit with a stone given to me by the chief priest of Enua Bomini. If you eventually get to sea again, you will learn what it means to be responsible. I told you, you will not see me coming. Fool. Look at my stupid nonsense. And I'll wait for the boys to tie him up. I'm off here. Anything you want, you do everything you get. You want to be on top and be many best. You don't want to settle for anything less. Forget that you are from. Anywhere you dare, people they fear. Even the waters they drive for your sake. People in pains, eyes filled with tears. But forget that you are from. One day the water for ground will cry. One day the sun will shine. Everything a matter of time Nothing may last Oh God, I did Nothing may last Oh God, I did it The power you get today You know they last Oh God, I did Nothing may last Oh God, I did it The power you get You do everything you get. You want to be on top and be many best. You don't want to settle for anything less. But forget that you are poor. Anywhere you dare, people they fear. Even the waters they drive for your sake. People in pains, eyes filled with tears. But forget that you are poor. One day the water for ground will dry. One day the sun will shine. Everything a matter of time Nothing may last